identify the specific DNA sequence in DNA sample. Or in DNA sample, no specific sequence identify the same. And for example, you can use coronavirus as a DNA chip. Coronavirus is a coronavirus is a virus or DNA is a virus. You can use the DNA sequence. First of all, you can use the DNA sequence. Coronavirus and DNA sequence, you can use the probes and then you can use it. So first, by the probes of DNA, respond to the virus. Virus is on the probes in one of the other people are not tied with it. So without the probes, development probes take it from the other end of the chain. Can it probes to the radio label as you hide it in the chain? Can it? PCR is on the chain. PCR is on the chain. PCR is on the chain. That's why it's on the chain. It's on the chain. Amplification is on the chain. It's just identification. PCR is on the chain. Amplification is on the chain. Amplification is very important. Bands and little kick bands are common in the world. We have to do the amplification of the DNA. That is the primer. That is the probe. The PCR is the primer. The virus is the primer. Then, the specific gene is amplified. If the specific gene is amplified, then the primer is the primer. Okay? That is the probe. It is the probe. अच्छा तो बोलना रहा आह ये सारी है बिल्कुल सही है बैंड्स में आये थे जी रियल रियल तो क्या ना इसका मैंने तो नहीं बोला था यार ऐसा भी तो डिजाइन भी नहीं होता कंस्ट्रक्शन सीडीएन या जीवन की तरह आ भी नहीं आना मानो आ ऐसा भी तो ऐसा ही नहीं है नेक्स्ट आइडेंटिफाइड एप्लिकेशंस एंड डिवेलपमेंट्स � Another identification is called the Salaga GMOs used for the testing to ensure that when the section of DNA are known, the genetic sequence has been successfully established in the genome of both of them. Genetically modified organisms, GMO, genetically modified organisms, it is a PD cartoon, like a pony organization, double chest and a house and तो जो मॉडिफिकेशन होता है, तो मिल प्रोडक्ट का कैसे कम हो सके? इलाज मॉडिफिकेशन को, अमॉडिफिकेशन आर्गनेजेंस को, आर्गनेजेंस में मानते हैं जैसे डीएनए उनका रीता है, तेज़ कोट, इतना जब हम मॉन्ट के प्रकार का वेक्टर लोग उनमें तो तेज़ तेज़ कोट होता है, ना कि ब्लॉक के लिए तो अगर डीएनए सीक्वेंस इन्हीं नंबर होता है, इन्हीं डीएनए सीक्वेंस होता है, आना जाए तो भी जरूर पड़ता होगा। तब डीएनए सीक्वेंस टेक्नोलॉजी, स्पिंगरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी नंबर है, इधर क्या लेता है? ताकि पेरेंट्स डायरी में लेते हैं, पादरे वाले तो मादरे वाले तो, तो मानो जब डीएनए सस्पेक्ट अगर डीएनए नोट किया था, तो आप डीएनए डीना कर दिया गया, इसलिए ना तो डीएनए का मुसलमान है, डीना चलो, कस्टमर की सोचना, चारों साइड डीएनए का भी दिल नो रिपोर्ट करता है, सिक्स साइड डीएनए के आठ नहीं आते, दिल नो रिपोर्ट करता है, तो फील है, फील है तो काम, तो एल्कोहोल्स, फ्रूट्स नहीं James Alvin and George Stark, Sam Sam for the university, 1970. 1970 is the national party in our session. National party? 75 or 75. Okay. So, national party in the application. It is the blood in the application. So, after the particular genes, Expression and patterns between tissue organs development changes and in the development of stress level, pathogenic infection, and more and more substitution. So, you can expression and identity. Expression and identity. RNA is a RNA extract. For example, treatment is done. For example, treatment is done. For example, 
तो कैसे देख रही हो तो कैमरा नहीं है कार्सिनोजेनिक कैमरा नहीं है एक्सप्रेसिव कार्सिनोजेनिक कैमरा नहीं एक्सप्रेसिव क्या बात है सो कीमो करके इधर से रेडियो करके चलो आई एम आर एंड यू एक्सप्रेस काफ़ हो तो ये तो आपको प्रोसेस होना थी पीटर ने प्रोसेस ऐसे बहुत कुछ सेक्स को तो ना टाइम भी पीटर ने बहुत ये देखने को पेड़ करो आई एम आर एंड यू एक्सप्रेस हो तो ना प्रोटेक्ट एक्सप्रेस कर दो ठीक है तो प्रोटेक्ट एक्सप्रेस कर दो ना पीटर ने क्यों जेम करना है इनिशियल में इसमें जेड है तो तब आप पीपल साथ चलते हैं तो इसमें जेड है तो टेक नहीं है तो इनिशियल का एमआरएनएस एक्सप्रेस बाग कर रहे हैं तो आईडी में जैसा है तो आम तो जो एक्सप्रेस आई को इतना ना आईडी में जैसा तान पीपल साथ चलते हैं पीपल साथ चलते हैं तो आम तो जो एक्सप्रेस कार्पोरेट बैठ आप बोलते हैं हमारे ने सिर्फ इस काल को ना क्या बैठ नहीं नहीं बोलते हैं हमारे ने क्या सिर्फ इस जल में ना जीने के प्रश्न जल में ना तो जीने के प्रश्न जल में तो मेरे अगर इधर के प्रश्न जल हो इसमें ना प्रॉपर का जरूरत है आता है इधर भी तो यू टू शो दैट ओवर एक्सप्रेशन हम बोलते हैं ओवर एक्� so, the reduction is specific MRE in this sample using the screening of recombinant which are successful in transformation of transfusion. That is, we have insulin. Insulin is the equivalent of transformation. The equivalent is the MRE in the sample. The insulin 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 is the MRE in the sample. उसमें so, coming to the western part, southern part of the DNA, northern part of the RNA, coming to the western part. So, for protein, so, he takes it to the first DNA, one of the reasons it's for the other way. And the extra side of the MRN, which is the reason it's for the other way. But, what is the protein proper? Under translation, what is the reason? Under translation, what is the reason? Translation दें प्रोटीन बैठे हुए चुना ये प्रोटीन हुए चुना मन बीस बीस प्रोटीन बैठे हुए चुना हर बुन प्रोटीन हुए चुना पैथोजन प्रोटीन एक्सप्रेस है ना मन को पेपर डे प्रोटीन होता एक्सप्रेस है ना अनेक टेस्ट कोड में उसको पेपर डे प्रोटीन वेस्टर्न प्रोटीन है ना सो डिटेक्टर स्पेसिफिक प्रोटीन इन एसेंबल ऑफिशियल � ऐसे ही बताएँ सब बात। वेस्टर्न बात नहीं करते, ऐसे ही टेस्ट करते हैं बात नहीं करते। पर ऐसे भी समझ लेते हैं कि सैंपल देश को ना, तो ब्लैक सैंपल देश को ना। तो नहीं रहते हैं, पर एग्जाम्पल लोग ये कॉर्नर सामने जो बात कर रहे हैं, रैपिड रैपिड डेंट टेस्ट करना, � Extract which is one of the proteins separate. Okay, so that is one of the I-antibody. You can tell me. It is substrate. It is substrate production as well. Tell us that it is substrate production as well. Okay, so you can tell me that it is antigen. Antigen is the bind. वायरस ऐसा मैंने तो बोला थे भी एंटीजन, एंटीजन मन बॉडी एक बोलती है इसमें क्या एंटीबॉडीज हैं इनके इस मन बॉडी में एंटीबॉडीज उन्हें क्या कहते हैं एंटीबॉडीज आइडेंटिफाइज़ हैं ना जब एंटीजन उन्हें क्या कहता है तो फर्स्ट में आइडेंटिफाइज़ है एंटीबॉडीज इन और बॉडी इच्छा भी समझ 
యాంటీజెన్ టెస్ట్ మీరు యాంటీబాడీ టెస్ట్ యాంటీబాడీ టెస్ట్ ఎప్పుడు చేస్తారు కరోనా వచ్చి వెళ్ళిపోయిందని నేను తెలుసుకోండి కొంతమంది కరోనా వచ్చి వెళ్ళిపోయిందని తెలియదు దానికోసం నాకు వచ్చిందా లేదా తెలుసుకోవడం అనేది మీరు చేస్తారు యాంటీబాడీ టెస్ట్ చేసుకుంటారు యాంటీబాడీ టెస్ట్ చేసుకుని యాంటీబాడీ ట్రైనింగ్ మీరు చేశారు అనుకోండి ఓహో తను అది కరోనా వచ్చి వెళ్ళిపోయింది అంటే ఆ యాంటీబాడీ టెస్ట్ లో ట్రీట్మెంట్ టెక్నిక్ ఉపయోగిస్తాం సో ఈ కేసు మనకు వాళ్ళు యాంటీబాడీస్ ఉన్నాయి యాంటీబాడీస్ దేనికి బయట అవుతాయి యాంటీజెన్ బయట ఇప్పుడు మనం కరోనా యాంటీజెన్ ని యాడ్ చేస్తున్నాం కరోనా యాంటీజెన్ యాడ్ చేస్తాం ఇప్పుడు మన బాడీలో ఉన్నటువంటి యాంటీబాడీ తోటి కరోనా యాంటీజెన్ ఉంటుంది బయట అవుతుంది ఇప్పుడు కరోనా యాంటీజెన్ బయట అయిన తర్వాత దానికి ఏం చేస్తాము ఏదో ఒక ఎంజైమ్ లిక్ చేస్తాం ఎంజైమ్ ని లిక్ చేస్తాం ఇప్పుడు ఆ ఎంజైమ్ లిక్ అయిన తర్వాత ఆ ఎంజైమ్ తోటి ఆ లిక్ అయినటువంటి ఎంజైమ్ తోటి మన బాడీలో ఉన్నటువంటి కరోనా యాంటీబాడీ తోటి ఇప్పుడు అలా టైట్ గా బయట ఇప్పుడు ఆ సొల్యూషన్ లో మన సబ్స్టెడ్ యాడ్ చేస్తాం సబ్స్టెడ్ యాడ్ చేస్తాం ఇప్పుడు ఈ సబ్స్టెడ్ ఎంజైమ్ ఎంజైమ్ రియాక్ట్ అయ్యి ప్రొడక్ట్ ఫామ్ ఇప్పుడు ప్రొడక్ట్ ఏంటంటే కలర్ ఫామ్ కలర్ ఫామ్ కలర్ ఫామ్ అయితే మన బాడీకి యాంటీబాడీ పాజిటివ్ కలర్ ఫామ్ అవ్వదు అనుకోండి కలర్ కానీ ఫామ్ అది ఫామ్ అని ఓకేనా ఇప్పుడు ఏం చేస్తాం మనము బయట అయిన తర్వాత బయట కలర్ అయినటువంటి వాటిని రిమూవ్ చేస్తాం అసలు ఏమి లేదనుకోండి యాంటీ కూడా ఏమి లేదనుకోండి బాడీ యాంటీజెన్స్ ఎక్కడ బయట అవ్వదు అది రిమూవ్ చేసేది వాషింగ్ సొల్యూషన్ అంటే రిమూవ్ చేయాలి అప్పుడు కలర్ మన సబ్స్టెంట్ యాడ్ చేసిన కలర్ ఓకేనా ఆ విధంగా మనం ఈ బ్యాడ్స్ ఫామ్ ప్రెగ్నెన్సీ 
Chemistry basics here. Let's talk about agarose gel electrophoresis. Agarose gel electrophoresis is a technique used for separation of DNA, RNA, and sometimes large proteins. It is widely used for the separation of DNA. Depending on the size of DNA which is to be separated, the concentration of agarose is kept between 0.8 to 2%. Agarose is prepared by dissolving agarose in an appropriate buffer, usually TAE or TBE buffers are used. The same buffer is also used in the buffer tank to run the gel. The mixture of buffer and agarose is boiled a few minutes. The boiling ensures that the agarose is uniformly dissolved in the buffer. The agarose is then mixed with ETBR and poured in the tray. Once solidified, the gel can be used for electrophoresis. For analyzing DNA samples, about 2 to 5 microliters of sample is mixed with a drop of bromophenol blue and loaded in the gel. Bromophenol blue is a dye used to monitor electrophoresis. Electrophoresis is carried out at an electric field of 5 to 10 volts per centimeter. Remember, electric field is the applied voltage divided by the distance between the electrodes. The direction in which the DNA runs is from negative to positive. Once the run is complete, the presence of DNA can be visualized under UV transilluminator. Hey guys, quick back to basics here. Let's talk about agarose gel electrophoresis. Western blotting, also called immunoblotting, is a widely used technique to monitor protein expression in a cell or tissue extract based upon antibody binding to a specific protein of interest.
Antibodies used in Western blotting can be specific to total protein or to a post-translational modification of a protein, such as sites of phosphorylation, acetylation, methylation, or ubiquitination. At Cell Signaling Technology, we perform Western blots daily to validate our new and existing antibodies. Here, we provide a complete protocol for the technique based upon a decade of our experience. We also provide a list of commonly used reagents that are used by CST scientists and work optimally with our antibodies. Using additional directions found on your data sheet, you can simply replicate what we are doing here and get the expected results in the shortest amount of time. We will also discuss the critical steps in Western blotting and how protocol changes can affect the final outcome of your blot. Before you begin, you should have a number of solutions on hand. Directions to prepare these solutions can be found on the protocol page of our website. These reagents include 1x PBS, prepared from 20x stock, 1x SDS sample buffer, prepared using either CST blue loading buffer pack or red loading buffer pack, see the sample preparation section for alternate use of cell lysis buffer or RIPA buffer, transfer buffer, 1x TBST, prepared from 10x TBST stock, Blocking buffer, prepared from non-fat dry milk, bovine serum albumin, or BSA, primary antibody dilution buffer containing either 5% BSA or 5% non-fat dry milk, as indicated on the product data sheet, signal fire ECL reagent, pre-stained protein marker, and a blotting membrane. This protocol has been optimized for nitrocellulose membranes. PVDF membranes may also be used. However, we find they may increase background. To harvest the cells, aspirate the cell culture media and wash the cells with 1x PBS. Then, aspirate the PBS. Next, lyse the cells by adding 1x SDS sample buffer. Add 100 microliters of buffer per well to a 6 well plate or add 500 microliters to a 10 centimeter plate. Then, immediately scrape the cells off the plate and transfer the extract to a microcentrifuge tube. Keep the cell extract tube on ice. Alternatively, the samples can be lysed using 1x cell lysis buffer, or they can be lysed using 1x RIPA buffer. Both buffers contain the necessary phosphatase and protease inhibitors for common protein assay methods. Now, sonicate the cell extract for 10 to 15 seconds to complete cell lysis and to shear nuclear chromatin. This also reduces the sample's viscosity and is especially important for detection of membrane-bound and nuclear proteins. If SDS sample buffer was used, take a 20 microliter aliquot of the sample, heat it to 95 or 100 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes, and then cool on ice. If cell lysis buffer or RIPA buffer was used, remove a 20 microliter aliquot of the cell extract, add red or blue loading buffer pack to a final concentration of 1x, and then heat the sample to 95 degrees Celsius for 5 minutes and cool on ice. Now, microcentrifuge the cooled samples for 5 minutes at room temperature. Next, load the centrifuged sample onto a square SDS page 4 to 20% gradient gel. Alongside the sample, load 10 microliters of the pre-stained markers and 10 microliters of biotinylated protein ladder to determine molecular weights. Run the gel using SDS running buffer. When the gel is done, set up a transfer cassette in transfer buffer as follows. Wet sponge, filter paper, gel, nitrocellulose or PVDF membrane, another filter paper, and sponge. Make sure to remove any air bubbles. Close the cassette and insert in your transfer apparatus in the appropriate direction. Then, electro-transfer under cooling conditions at 70 volts for 1.5 to 3 hours. The measurements for this section are for a 100 cm square membrane. For differently sized membranes, adjust the volumes accordingly. After transfer, wash the nitrocellulose membrane with 25 milliliters of TBST for 5 minutes at room temperature. To block the membrane, incubate it in 25 milliliters of blocking buffer for 1 hour at room temperature. And after the hour, wash the membrane for 5 minutes in 15 milliliters of 1x TBST. Now, dilute the primary antibody using 10 milliliters of recommended dilution buffer, which has been uniquely determined for each CST antibody. 
Then, incubate the membrane in the diluted antibody with gentle agitation overnight at 4 degrees Celsius. The next day, wash the membrane three times for five minutes per wash with 15 milliliters of TBST. After the washes, dilute the species-appropriate HRP-conjugated secondary antibody at 1 to 2,000 in 10 milliliters of blocking buffer. Antibiotin HRP-linked antibody can also be added to the 10 milliliters of blocking buffer to detect the biotinylated protein markers. Incubate the membrane in the diluted secondary antibody solution with gentle agitation for one hour at room temperature on an orbital shaker. After the incubation, wash the membrane three times with 15 milliliters of TBST for five minutes per wash, then proceed with the protein detection. For protein detection, prepare the Signal Fire ECL reagent by mixing one part of 2X reagent A with one part of 2X reagent B. Incubate the membrane in 10 milliliters of Signal Fire ECL reagent with gentle agitation for one minute at room temperature. Next, drain the membrane of excess developing solution, but do not let it dry out. Then, wrap the membrane in plastic wrap while it is still wet and expose it to 